Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you nine Instant Pot recipes that are my most favorite. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kristen and every Sunday my sisters and I, we love sharing simple, easy recipes so you guys can get dinner onto the table. Now today I'm sharing Instant Pot recipes because if you've been around a little while, you know how much I love the Instant Pot. So I'm sharing with you nine Instant Pot recipes, so hopefully to give you more dinner ideas, or if you're new to the Instant Pot, a perfect way to learn how to use it. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. The first recipe is Instant Pot Creamy Chicken and Rice Soup. So we're gonna start with three cups of low sodium chicken broth. Next, we're gonna add a half cup of uncooked brown rice, about two pounds of chicken breast, these are tenderloins cut into small pieces, one onion that's all diced, three carrots that are sliced, three celery stalks, you can go ahead and just dump those in there, one and a half cups of corn or just one can of corn. Then we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of poultry seasoning, a half teaspoon of dried thyme, about three fourths teaspoon of salt, and then just ground pepper to taste, depending on how much you like. Then go ahead and mix that all together. Now it's time to put on the lid, so make sure that it's sealed tight. You're gonna turn that knob to sealing, not venting. You're gonna push pressure cook or the manual button, and we're gonna set it for 18 minutes. Now when it's all done cooking, you're gonna turn that knob to venting to let out all of the pressure. When all the pressure's out, open that lid very carefully and all your food should be nice and cooked. All right, so now you're gonna take in a separate little bowl, three fourths cup of half and half and about one tablespoon of cornstarch. Mix that together and pour that in. Then you're gonna pour in about three fourths cup of frozen peas or if you don't have frozen, I had to use canned today, which it will work just fine. Then you're gonna push the saute button and you're gonna let it thicken up to the texture that you want it to be. The next recipe is our Hawaiian barbecued chicken tacos. So we're gonna start with about one and a half pounds or three chicken breasts into the Instant Pot. Next we're gonna add one can of pineapple tidbits, one cup of barbecue sauce, I like to use sugar free right now, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of liquid smoke, about a half of a red onion, two tablespoons of diced jalapenos. This is optional if it's too spicy for you. I also added one teaspoon of chili powder and two cloves of garlic, and then one tablespoon of just yellow mustard. That sounds weird, but I'm telling you, it's delicious. Then we need it to pressurize to so a half a cup of water. Now you're gonna put the lid on, turn that little knob to sealing, not venting. Now because my chicken breasts are kind of small, we're gonna cook them for about oh, 12 to 15 minutes. If they're frozen, you cook them for about 22. When it's all done, turn that little knob to venting, open up the lid, and your meal is all done. Now I like to pull out the chicken and shred it all up. Then I like to put it back into the sauce and then mix it really well. You wanna make sure you mix that mustard in there. Now we have a delicious coleslaw that goes on top. I'll put a link in the description for you. It's amazing on top of it. Okay, it's time for one of my favorites, Instant Pot Dr. Pepper Pulled Pork. All right, so we're gonna take a three pound pork shoulder roast and put it in there. Then we have some spices. We have one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of seasoned salt, and a little bit of black pepper, about a half a teaspoon or so. Now you're gonna mix that all around. Then you're gonna pour a, a 12 ounce can of Dr. Pepper right on top of it. Then about one cup of barbecue sauce. Now I'm gonna use some sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's one of my favorites right now. Go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure you press the pressure cook or manual button. And we're gonna cook this for about an hour because it's it's pretty small. And go ahead and turn the knob to sealing so it will pressurize. When it's all done, go ahead and pull it out, shred it up, and put a little barbecue sauce on top. Next up is our Olive Garden copycat recipe of Zupa Toscana. So you're gonna go ahead and push the saute button. Then you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil when it's hot and you're gonna add an onion. Go ahead and mix that around a little bit until it softens. Then you're gonna add one pound of Italian sausage. You're gonna chop that up and brown it. Now while you're waiting for that to cook, you're gonna add two teaspoons of minced garlic, a fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and six cups of chicken broth. Go ahead and just pour that all in. Go ahead and mix that around a little bit. Then we're gonna add three large russet potatoes that I've chopped. You can leave the skins on you can, or you can peel them off, it doesn't matter. 
I'm gonna mix it one more time, maybe add just a little bit of salt and pepper for taste, then it's time to put the lid on. So you're gonna go ahead and put the lid on, make sure it, it's on nice and snug, turn that little knob to sealing, not venting, you're gonna push pressure cook or manual button, and you're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. When it's all done, go ahead and turn the knob to venting, let all the pressure out, then you can open up the lid. You're gonna add some heavy cream. And now if you don't like heavy cream, I'm using a little bit of sour cream today and just mix that in all together. Now while it's still hot, you're gonna add two cups of kale and about six slices of bacon. Then mix it all together and you seriously have a delicious dinner ready to go. Next up is our Instant Pot Chicken Alfredo Penne Pasta and this is one of my favorites. So you're gonna go ahead and push the saute button. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of oil into the pot. Then I'm gonna dump in one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, cut up into small pieces. Now go ahead and let that cook on both sides for a little bit. Then you're gonna add two cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of dried parsley. Go ahead and dump in five cups of low sodium chicken broth. Then you're gonna go ahead and just mix that around. Make sure chicken is covered, everything's covered. Then we're going to pour in 12 ounces of penne pasta. Now my chicken is not cooked all the way through, but it's almost there. And then I wanna make sure that every noodle is covered with a liquid, because if it's not, it's going to burn. So if you need to add more liquid, go ahead and do it. All right, our lid is on. Our little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. We're pushing the pressure cooker manual button, and then we're cooking for only four minutes. When it's done, go ahead and turn the knob to venting. Let all the pressure out. When all the pressure's out, go ahead and lift it up and then mix it around. Now we're gonna push the saute button. You're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese, about one cup of mozzarella cheese, a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese, and go ahead and just mix that all together until a lot of the cheese has started to melt. Now in a small bowl, I mixed one tablespoon of water and one tablespoon of cornstarch, and I mixed it in with the cheese in there too. Now go ahead and push the saute button to get all that extra liquid out so it can be the texture that you want it to be. Next up is our Instant Pot Ravioli Lasagna Soup recipe. So we're gonna start by pushing the saute button, and I am cooking one pound of ground sausage turkey. Now you don't need olive oil or anything else because it has enough grease. We're gonna add a little bit of onions, a one, <laughs> two cloves of garlic, and go ahead and just mix that till it's all the way cooked. Then we're gonna add one zucchini that's finely chopped, one green pepper that's also finely chopped, one can of crushed tomatoes, and one can of diced tomatoes. And go ahead and just mix it all together. Next, you're gonna add one can of condensed tomato soup, six ounces of tomato paste. Just go ahead and dump that all in and then mix it again all together. Now, as you mix, you wanna make sure you get that turkey off the bottom. Now, I forgot to film the spices, so you need one teaspoon of white sugar, one and a half teaspoons of dried basil, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of ground pepper to taste. Sorry about that. Now, after all of the seasonings are in, you're gonna add four cups of beef broth and then just mix it around really well. Next, you're gonna add 20 ounces of frozen mini cheese filled ravioli. You just wanna make sure all the ravioli is covered with the liquid. Go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure that little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. You're gonna push the pressure cook button and we only have to cook that for two minutes. When it's done, go ahead and release the pressure. When all the pressure's out, you can lift your lid up and serve it with a little bit of cheese and parsley on top. The next one is Instant Pot Chicken Caesar Sandwiches. And this one is so easy. You're gonna go ahead and put two pounds of chicken breast in the bottom of your Instant Pot and then add one cup of chicken broth on top. Go ahead and put your lid on, make sure the, the knob is turned to ceiling, push the pressure cook or manual button, and we're gonna cook these for 15 minutes because they're kind of thick. When it's all done, turn that little knob to venting, open it up, take your chicken out, and we're gonna shred it up. Now, once it's all shredded, you're going to add about three-fourths cup of your favorite Caesar salad dressing. I love the Bolt House. Then you're gonna add about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of fresh parsley, and mix it all together. Now you can serve this on your favorite bun with a little bit of romaine lettuce. Next is our Instant Pot Chili. This is a dump and go recipe and it's one of my favorites. So you're gonna push the saute button. Once it's hot, you're gonna add one pound of ground beef and go ahead and just chop that up. You're going to cook it almost all the way through. And while that's cooking, you're gonna add one onion that's 
diced up and you're gonna go ahead and mix that all together until it's nice and fragrant. Now to that you're gonna add two cans of diced tomatoes and then one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. On top of that you're gonna add a third cup of ketchup or chili sauce if you don't have ketchup and one can of red kidney beans drained and rinsed. Now go ahead and mix that together a little bit. We're gonna add half a cup of water because we need it to be able to pressurize and then one packet of chili seasoning. Then I'm gonna add three stalks of celery and then about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. On top of that, add one tablespoon of sugar and then mix it all together. It is time to get ready to cook. Put the lid on, turn the little knob to sealing, not venting. Then go ahead and push the pressure cook button. It only cooks for 10 minutes. When it's all done, you can let it release on its own or turn the knob to let all the pressure out. And I love to serve it with a little bit of chips, parsley, and cheese on top. And the very last recipe is our easy instant pot pot roast. So you're gonna start with a two pound beef pot roast and put it into the bottom of your instant pot. Next, you're gonna take one packet of dry onion soup mix and pour it on. I did about six red potatoes, one onion, five carrots all diced up, just dump them all in, and then two cups of beef broth. And that is it. Go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure the little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push the meat stew button or pressure cooker manual. You're gonna cook it for one hour. When it's done, you can let it release on its own or you can turn the knob. Either one will work and you have a perfect pot roast every single time. All right guys, now if you want more Instant Pot recipes, you can check out this video right there and I'll see you all next week. Okay, bye.